Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're reviewing the new Buff Bunny Collection Dream House launch. This is launching on Saturday, May 13th at 1 p.m. Central Time. I will list the other times on the screen. And as always, you can use code Catherine for 10% off any Buff Bunny order. This collection is obviously very Barbie inspired, very focused on like girly pink, it is a little bit of a smaller collection, I will just say. There are some pieces that I would have liked to see in a couple more colors, but we have so many different shades of pink in this collection, some cute patterns, we have some new pieces, and some old favorites coming back. But if you are a bright neons girly, this collection's for you. I will say there are also a lot of like very wearable black pieces that have like a little detail to them, so I have a couple of those here today as well. And without further ado, let's move into the colors. So I will post all of the colors on the screen, but we have some repeats. We have Tiki Yellow, which we've had in the past. I believe that was Under the Sea. Miami Vice Pink, Malibu Pink, which is a little bit lighter. Orange Soda, Aqua Dream, Party Purple, which I do have here. I guess I do also have Miami Vice here as well. Roma Pink, Vinyl Pink. Unfortunately, I don't have all of the pinks to compare. Plastic Pink, H2O Blue, White Ivory, Onyx Black, and then Vinyl vinyl black. And then the Miami Vice Pink is also coming in a bossy print. There's something called the fashion print. I did not get that one, but I don't think it's coming in very many things. And then we have some marled colors for the seamless. Okay, and then we're going to separate this review based on types of pieces. So as always, we're going to start it off with the leggings. These first leggings I'm excited about. I am slightly bummed they're only coming in black, but you can always use a good pair of black seamless leggings. And I do think that these will go quickly because they're like the BBL seamless, except they have a cross waist and no under glute contour, guys. These are the snatched leggings. They're only coming in this charcoal black. We reviewed the BBL seamless leggings in the cake collection launch, and I thought they were a very innovative way to do a seamless legging that offers glute separation, but without an actual scrunch. Because if you know me, I love a good two chic moment, a little glute separation, but there was an under glute contour in the BBL seamless leggings. The BBL seamless are coming back, so we will chat about those in a second. But they're very similar to these, but these ones do not have the under glute contour. It's kind of hard to see on the black, but indeed there is no little smile contour underneath. We have a similar two-tiered compressive waistband with some tapered glute seams in the back. The Buff Bunny logo is embroidered into the fabric. It's made of a super stretchy marled seamless. For me, this is not an itchy seamless. I can sit down in this, I can wear these over a long period of time, and I don't get that itchy seamless feeling. And these are called the snatched seamless because they have the signature of Buff Bunny cross waist. So it dips down. It'd be great if these dogs could not fight right outside my window. So it has a dip down little V front waist. So dare I say, I haven't tried these on yet, but a seamless legging with lower tummy control, perhaps, crosses almost the entire front of the legging. So here is the cross waist, stretchy, compressive seamless on the top. And then here is the back. You see there is no under glute contour, just a stretchy marled seamless. Okay, I am absolutely feeling snatched on these leggings, so they live up to the name. First thing I'm gonna say is that it's definitely a compressive waistband. So if you are a little bit, you know, larger in the waist measurement for your size, I would definitely consider a size up just because this is really, it's really snatching. Personally, I'm still okay and I actually like a little bit of waist compression, but you can just kind of tell on me, it's definitely, it's definitely snatching. So we have that crossover waist detailing. Actually, because of the cross waist, there's a little bit of extra give in the waist area. And I really do think you're getting more lower tummy control in this one because of that dip down detailing. So definitely a medium to high compression in the waist. The rest of the legging is definitely a light compression, super stretchy all along. Moving on to the back, the seams go above the glutes. And again, I was able to get that seam situated between the cheeks. So we still definitely have a high on the booty scale. We have a glute separation, super flattering. This material is super stretchy, so it's not gonna squish the glutes down. You should definitely get good cellulite coverage, especially in these because they only come in black. But in general, you do have a little bit of marl here, which kind of distracts from any cellulite or skin texture. This material also, pet fur brushes off of it very easily. It's not clinging to pet fur. And I believe the inseam measurement is slightly shorter on these than some other ones, but um, because it's so stretchy, there's a lot of vertical stretch, so I can get it to fit me a little longer. And here is a full-length view of the leggings. I was a fan of the BBL Seamless, so I'm a big fan of these. I would love to see these come back. But I do think the waistband could just be a little bit less compressive, 
a lot of seamless leggings. Really just love to have a super compressive tiny waistband if I just feel like sometimes it's a little too much. So I could use a little bit less compression on the waist. But everything else, super cute. Love that they got rid of the underglute contour on this one. Okay, just got a workout in in this set. And obviously the leggings with this waistband stayed up super well. The waistband, I do think it could just be a little bit less compressive, but it didn't bother me a lot overall. I do notice that there's this one area that there's just like a teeny bit of extra fabric. I don't know if you can even see, but like right in the hip, like this little, this little thing that kind of just pokes out a little bit. It's very minor, doesn't really bother me, but we all know I like the details, so. Then we have a classic, a favorite, the Legacy Leggings. These are a 26 inch inseam high rise legging made of the Nubri fabric. So they're very soft. I do wear these to the gym, but they're also just a favorite like lifestyle legging for me. I find that they're very wearable, very basic, but they have that little three seam butterfly detail on the back. This one's coming in a lot of fun colors. I generally find these to be about a light to medium compression, but whenever they come in prints, like the bossy print or anything, they tend to be a little bit more compressive. So more like a medium. If you're in between sizes, I would size down in the solids, but in the prints, I would size up. But otherwise, they are very true to size if you follow the size chart. They're also medium to high on the booty scale. Those back seams do go above the glutes. Very flattering. The Nubri fabric is super stretchy, so it doesn't squish down the glutes at all. And generally, these are one of my highest recommend Buff Bunny leggings. The BBL seamless leggings are back. These ones are only coming in acai purple for this collection. So the BBL seamless leggings, I really loved these. I think Buff Bunny did an amazing job on these ones. Kind of already touched on these with the snatch seamless, but you have a but you have a compressive waistband. The waistband is sewn on to the legging. It's not a seamless transition, like something like an Alphalete Amplify. You have the logo embroidered into the back of the waistband and you have this little colored band along the top. If you flip the waistband inside out, it says Buff Bunny on it if you prefer to wear it rolled down. Super stretchy and I would say that this is a more durable seamless. It's not as durable as like a super thick restrictive like Gymshark kind of seamless, like a Gymshark camo seamless, but I have worn these to the gym a couple times now just because I've been a big fan of them and I have not had any issues with any band pilling or anything like that. They're super, super stretchy. The body of the legging is more of a light compression just because they're so stretchy, but the waistband is definitely more of a medium to high compression. So if you're in between because of this waistband, I would size up, but otherwise stick true to size. These have that shortened back rise seam. So because it's shortened, you can pull them up the glutes and you get the effect of having a scrunch legging without actually having a scrunch. So it's a lot less obvious than a traditional scrunch where all the fabric is gathering or even something like an Amplify scrunch where you have that kind of shinier stitch down the middle. Personally, I think that the Alphalete Amplify scrunch is maybe just a teeny bit more flattering on the glutes, but I would still definitely give these a high on the booty scale, super flattering. You also don't have to wear the back rise stitch up the glutes if you don't want to, but if you don't, you might have trouble getting the little smile contour underneath the glutes. So I'm hoping that we do away with this little under glute contour at some point just because I just don't really think it's very lifting and it's really hard to get it right under the glutes so it stays the whole time but I'm a big fan of the BBL seamless leggings. Really if they got rid of that under glute contour they'd be amazing. Next, we have a new fun legging. These are the Rosa Scallop leggings. So the Rosa leggings are an OG Buff Bunny legging. They're made of the Nubri fabric and they're just a very simple, basic legging, but they took the Rosa legging shape and they added this scalloped stitching onto the top or it's not stitching, but it's just a scalloped hem detail. I feel like they missed the opportunity to do it at the ankle as well. That would have been super cute. This one's also only coming in Miami Vice pink and black. I would have liked to see this in a couple other colors, but we have the classic Rosa legging shape and Rosa legging stitches. So the stitching is a little bit thinner than the legacy legging stitching. The seams in the back do curve around the glutes a little bit. You have a slightly extended crotch gusset, 26 inch inseam, and I'm interested to see how I'm gonna like this because the whole waistband is double thickness and then bonded together. So it's kind of reinforced, but it creates this kind of stiffer feel to the fabric. So this could either be great and then it offers like more tummy control and things like that because it does kind of come down a little bit or it could be uncomfortable in workouts because it doesn't provide that kind of free movement. So. 
These also definitely look like they're pretty high rise. So we will have to do a workout in these and see how they feel in terms of like, will they be rolling down, things like that. So here's a close up of the hem detail. You can see the fabric is thickened, it's bonded, and kind of has like a more stiff shape to it. So let's try it on. Okay, since the waistband is tapered on this one, also we're gonna excuse the trash bags back there. I had to clear out the closet a little bit. So it's not actual trash. I was a little bit concerned with that tapered waistband and then it being kind of stiff because when I was trying to get these on the first time, it was feeling a little bit snug over the hip area. So just be warned, definitely if you're in between, especially in the waist area, I would size up. But as soon as I got them on, I'm actually liking this like thickened waist, which I didn't expect because something with the regular Rosa leggings is they they always kind of slid down on me, which is not an issue I had with the a legacy leggings or the Rosa pocket leggings. It was always just the, the classic Rosa legging, but because we have a tapered waist up here and it's this like thickened fabric, it is just kind of holding onto my waist and staying in place. Like I can even just tell walking around my apartment this is going to be staying up better. Obviously we'll do a little gym update, but I actually really like this. So you're getting a ton of compression in this area. It's that thickened fabric. So it actually dips down a little bit in the front. It would be nice if it came down for a little extra lower tummy control, but you're definitely getting tummy control in this waistband area more than any other Buff Bunny legging. You have that cute scallop detail and it's not rough or anything along the scalloped edges. It's actually really soft, so it's not going to like cause any irritation to your skin. We have no front seam and you can't really see the gusset, so I feel like it's fitting really well. Occasionally, Newbury fabric kind of goes from feeling a little bit thinner to a little bit thicker. This one is feeling a little bit on the thicker side, but I've kind of grown to like these slightly thicker Newbury fabrics just because they hide underwear lines a little bit better, hide cellulite a little bit better. No seams along the side of this one. And then you have those seams that go above the glutes for a nice medium to high on the booty scale. If you really wanna situate the seams between the glutes a little bit more, you definitely can. So definitely flattering on the glutes. But yeah, this waistband just like feels really nice in contrast to the snatched legging waistband where I felt like it was maybe a little bit too tight. This one is feeling perfect. It's not compressing me too much, but it's definitely giving me some hold. And here is the full length view. Really think it would have been cute if they did the scallop at the bottom of the leg too. And these are a 26 inch inseam and they're just about right at the ankle for me. Okay, workout update. First thing, the sports bra. I feel like the bottom band of this one shows very minimal sweat. Like usually I see a little more under boob sweat there. And maybe I just did the wrong workout today. I don't know, but I didn't have the waistband rolled down at all. It literally stayed like basically like glued in place the entire time. Like even when I like lean over, it really doesn't like shift that much. Definitely has the capability of rolling. I will just bend over here in a second, but I definitely had my doubts about this waistband, but I actually really like it. The only thing is because it is so stiff, when I did certain movements, like you'll see in my lap pull downs, there is a tiny bit of gaping back there just because it's so rigid, but it did not slide down or anything. They stayed up really well. And then I will show you when we sit here, there's definitely a chance of it like rolling a teeny bit, but unless you're doing like a lot of sitting and leaning over, it kind of just snaps right back into place. Like if it leans over a little bit here and we stand up, it literally goes right back to where it is. So. Okay, final thing about the waistband here. If you are someone who's constantly having waistbands roll, this one still will probably roll on you. I am not someone who has waistbands roll very often. I have a longer torso and I don't carry much weight in my waist area. So for me, this honestly fits like a glove. But if you have any hesitations about this and you are someone who gets a lot of rolling, I maybe wouldn't go for these, but I will say the waistband is not nearly as tight as the snatched leggings. Though. There will also be Rebel leggings in Miami Vice pink and black. And these are the same fit and everything of the original Rebel leggings, except this collection has more of a vinyl finish to the outside of the fabric. So they mentioned that they might feel a little bit stretchier than previous Rebel leggings. So sometimes the Rebel leggings, depending on which kind of material and finish they go for, can be a little more compressive. Like the holographic prints tend it to be a little bit more compressive, a little less stretchy than the leopard prints. So I would expect this to be more on the stretchy side. So definitely stick true to size and size down if in between. The Rebel leggings have always been a really great performance material. So performance materials are that 
that kind of like more sleek to the touch, doesn't collect pet fur kind of fabric. Generally, I find the Rebel leggings to be about a medium compression. If these ones are stretchier, they might be more light to medium. And they're always very flattering on the glutes. Definitely at least a good medium to high on the booty scale. They have those curved seams in the back. A more dramatic archer on the glutes than something like the Legacy Rosa leggings. As always, a no front seam. I feel like sometimes I don't even mention that anymore because we're so spoiled. Nothing but funny ever has a front seam anymore. And they're a 26 inch inseam. And the last leggings are the Moonstone leggings. Um, I don't know what I was expecting with these ones, but it wasn't this. We have, guys, a, our first pair of rhinestoned leggings. So these are interesting to me. I feel like they have to be for a very like specific purpose. Like you're not going to the gym. I mean, maybe you are. Uh, I just feel like it could be risky. In a pair of rhinestone leggings. This is coming from someone who wore a lot of rhinestones growing up in dance competitions and whatnot. So the material on these is a 73% polyester, 27% spandex. That might actually be similar to Rebel. But the material feels a little bit thinner to me. It seems like it's going to be very stretchy, but there are a couple things I'm not quite sure about. So first of all, we have the Buff Bunny logo here. It's a silicone logo, so I love that. Here we see some of the rhinestone details. It kind of comes around the side and then all the way down the leg. But I don't know why the seam here, they actually did not do a flat lock seam, which means the stitching kind of projects onto the inside of the legging. And I feel like that's kind of like a cheaper way to do things sometimes. I don't usually see this on like more high quality items. I haven't seen this on a Buff Bunny legging in like maybe ever. So that's just a little bit weird to me. So usually it doesn't bother me too much, but I just, I don't know. I'm just not sure how I feel about it. You can see the difference right here. The back rise seam, this is a flat lock seam. So kind of what you're used to with a buff bunny legging. And then you can kind of see a little bit of like tenting of the fabric with the non-flat lock seam there. So I'm not quite sure why they decided to do that. And then just lots of rhinestones. The rhinestones feel like they are going to stay on very well. At least they're holding up really well to any pulling. I'm not seeing any loosening of any of these. So it's gonna be something that you don't really find out if they really hold up until after a couple washes. But of course, with a liking like this, definitely wash inside out and then hang dry. That's how I do all my leggings. But, but this is not a legging you accidentally wanna throw in the dryer because I feel like that would not be good. All right, here are the leggings. So definitely a high rise performance material. I will say I prefer Elysium fabric to this one because I feel like this one is just a little bit, a little bit on the shinier side. They might've had to, I mean, at least I don't think this is Elysium. I don't really know. It doesn't feel like all the other Elysium ones. I feel like this one maybe has a little bit more shine to it, which I tend to try to avoid. Again, we have that seam there that's not a flat lock seam. So I feel like it kind of just, you know, it sticks out just a teeny little bit, but just enough for me to question why they wouldn't do flat lock seam there. We have the rhinestone detailing down the side of the leggings. I mean, I could see this being a legging that you wear out, but I just, I'm just feeling like it's a little bit costumey. I don't want to judge anyone for their preferences, but I'm just, I just don't really think I'm here for rhinestone leggings. Um, I also definitely wouldn't wear these to the gym because you just don't know, um, you know, how easy it would be to get one of these off. Again, they feel pretty stuck on, but you just never know. Seams along the back are nice and high and above the glutes. Um, this seam back here is actually, you know, contouring the glutes pretty well. So we'll give it a medium high on the booty scale for that. Um, cellulite coverage, this material is kind of on the thinner side. So, I mean, it is black, so you won't really see cellulite, but not the most cellulite friendly. Definitely a lot of stretch to these leggings. I wouldn't be concerned about that. About a medium compression overall. And then the full length view. These ones are actually feeling pretty long. Um, usually they just make everything a 26 inch inseam, but I will always measure it, of course. Um, they have the rhinestone detailing down the legs. I'm curious to see the price on these, if they'd be a lot more expensive because of the rhinestones or what. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Okay, so the Moonstone leggings actually say hand wash only, but because I'm not too attached to these anyway, I'm about to do a load of laundry and I'm gonna wash them on inside out cold, what I usually do for my active wear, and we'll see how the rhinestones hold up. Okay, so the leggings were washed on cold, um, as I do with like all my active wear, and I washed them inside out, so let's check on the rhinestones. So, turned them inside out. Um, my washer likes to like deposit like random like stuff on my clothes, so that's fine. But the rhinestones look totally fine. None of them are loose, so I definitely think you could wash them 
on cold with no problems. All right, next we are moving on to shorts. Next is the Snatch Short. Again, these are only coming in black. I did not get these ones because the BBL seamless, they were just like too short for me. So it's just going to be the Snatched Seamless Legging, except in a four inch inseam. Keep in mind with these leggings and shorts with a shorter back rise seam, if you are going to bring them up the glutes, you lose a lot of that length. So they feel more like a two, two and a half inch inseam for me, which just doesn't quite feel long enough. But if you like a shorter short, the Snatched Seamless Short. We have the BBL Seamless Short. They're very similar to the BBL Seamless Leggings. They have that compressive waistband with a little band along the top, the Buff Bunny embroidered logo, and then you also have the Buff Bunny embroidered onto the inside of the waistband if you flip it down. Contoured glute seams in the back, that shorter back rise seam so you can situate the stitch between the glutes. But with these ones, I found them to be very, very short because when you gather the fabric into the glute, like you're kind of meant to do with that shorter back rise seam, you just lose all of the length of the shorts. So they were feeling very short on me, very booty short, just not enough length for me. I feel like a short like this, you need a good six or seven inch inseam. I would love to see that length of these shorts because it's starting to get hot and I am gravitating towards shorts and not as much leggings. So I'd love to be wearing these, but in a longer version. All right, next we have the Legacy four inch short. This is a classic. Kind of regretting not getting these in the fashion print because I didn't get anything in the fashion print. So maybe I should have done that. So the Legacy shorts are very similar to the Legacy leggings, but on the Legacy four inch shorts, the waistband is actually an inch shorter. So they're not as high rise as the leggings. Other than that, they're made of the Nubri fabric. So about a medium compression, very stretchy. Generally thick thigh friendly. They never cut into my thighs or anything at least in the solid colors, but they do roll up on me, which is why I'm not a big fan of the four inch short. Still very flattering on the glutes though, and they have that little tri-seam detail in the back. Then we have the Legacy six inch shorts. This is in the color Party Purple, very vibrant. So these are my new favorite Buff Bunny shorts. I love them. I mean, it's not a surprise because I love the Legacy legging and the Legacy details in general. So you have that little tri-seam detail in the back, but they now make them in a six inch inseam, which is something that I can actually wear to the gym without having to worry about about picking them out of my thighs, them rolling up over time. So they're just a more comfortable fit for me. I also love that the bottom of the leg is slightly flared, so a lot of room for my thick thigh girlies. We have a little extended crotch gusset in the back and we will just do a quick try on of these. All right, just super quick here, the Legacy six inch shorts, no front seam, perfect length for me. Still have some room in the thighs while still having enough compression down there where it's gonna hold on to them. Nice high rise above the belly button and flattering in the back, flattering on the glutes. And I know Nubri isn't always considered like maybe the most durable fabric, but I've actually worn my Nubri shorts on like multiple hikes involving like sliding down rocks and stuff and like brushing by like little cacti and like things like that. And the Nubri has held up, like it hasn't been a problem. So just another reason to love the Newbury fabric, but but yeah, if you like a slightly longer short, you can even kind of like ride these up a little bit. They're just like a short that I know I can put on during my workout and I'm not constantly picking them out of my thighs. Like they just stay put. Next, we have the Lifesaver shorts. These were one of my favorite shorts that Buff Bunny launched last year. And I think this is maybe our first time seeing them back since. They might've had like maybe a couple colors in the fall. But basically, if you remember the Flow shorts, these are like the like shorter, kind of like more cutesy version. They have an elastic waistband. They also have a drawstring. The drawstring is an elastic drawstring. Um, which just gets like very stretchy. I wish it was a more stiff drawstring, but they did say for this launch, they are shortening the drawstring a little bit because it is a little bit long. The past ones have been a little bit long. This is an old one in the color peach rings. So there's a new orange soda launching, but it's not the same color as this one. You have this super flowy fabric along the outside, very lightweight. And on the inside, you have a pair of pretty short shorts, but the inner shorts on the left side have a nice little phone pocket there. It even has a little flap that kind of covers over that. So it's nice and secure. And it's been a while since we've reviewed these, so I'll try them on. But you also have a little kind of slit at the side with an overlay of the fabric just to keep them very breathable. We have our first cat sighting. Oh, okay. He's out. All right, here are the Lifesaver shorts. This is a size small. Um, they did say that they updated the sizing to be more true to size. Personally, I found them to be true to size before, but sometimes it's only an issue with certain sizes. So we can see the drawstring is pretty long, especially if I tie it. So they did say this new updated version has a shorter drawstring. So that will definitely be a help. And then they have 
the two kind of fabric overlays along the side to allow for a little more movement. The inseam on the inside of the inner shorts is pretty short, so um, you are getting close to exposing some cheek but you do have that fabric on the outside to kind of cover up a little bit. The right side has no details on the shorts. Also, the inner shorts are very stretchy at the thigh opening, so definitely thick thigh friendly. And the left side has that phone pocket as described, and then it even has like that little cover, so it's all secured in there. And then you have the Buff Money logo on the left back side. And then here's the back. They're also nice and high rise, and it can be really hard to find a loose flowy short like this that actually is a true high rise. So it's another reason why I love these ones. Next, we're moving on to sports bras, starting out with a new sports bra. This is the Rosa Scallop bra. So basically the same shape, same material as the classic Rosa sports bra. We have a Newbury fabric, some good coverage in the front, scooped neckline, and then it twists into, oh, okay, this one's actually slightly different than the regular Rosa. The straps actually weave in and out of each other instead of the traditional Rosa sports bra, the straps just kind of like two laid on top of two. This one, they're actually weaving in and out. Not a big difference, but it's something. But on the bottom of this one, you have that little scalloped detail. Because of that, it's actually not quite as a long line as the original Rosa bras, which I think is kind of nice to have a little switch up. Sometimes I don't like my sports bras to be like super long line. And this one is actually a little bit more stretchy in the bottom band than the Rosa scallop leggings are in the top of the waistband. They only made the bonding right at the end of the scallop detail. I think you can kind of see it here, but it starts to thicken at the fabric right below the actual scallop details. So this area is still stretchy, but this area is that thickened bonded scallop detail. Okay, actually loving this top. I don't know what it is. I was kind of expecting to be like semi disappointed with this set, but I really like it. Wish it came in more colors, but I don't have that much hot pink in my gym wardrobe, so I'm here for it. So we have the Rosa Bra silhouette on the top. Um, I'm definitely feeling maybe like a little more compressed in this one. So feeling a little bit more like the fit of like a Rosa V2 instead of the original Rosa. So if you're in between, I would definitely choose a size up. I'm definitely getting a little bit compressed to this one. I would rather be a little bit more compressed in my sports bras than have it be looser so I get more support. Coverage wise, I'm actually getting a uh, pretty good side boob coverage. Sometimes with Rosa bras, you don't get as much side boob coverage, but I am getting a bit of a scoop here. So kind of between a medium to medium to high in the coverage. Support is a medium to high though. With that compression, I'm just getting nice and held in. I know I'm not gonna fall out of this one though, even with that scooping, because I'm just being held in really well. And then the little scallop detail, it's not too compressive down there. It doesn't like feel any different, but it's just a little bit shorter than the regular Rosa bra, which I think is a nice alternative because sometimes they can be a little bit long if you have a shorter torso. And then we go along to the back and you have those intertwining straps. Very typical for the Rosa bra. Um, lots of movement back there. It's not cutting in anywhere. So definitely if you've been a fan of the Rosa bra, you're gonna like this one, especially if you are looking for that little extra detail. Then here's one last view of the back. Okay, putting these side by side, the regular Rosa bra, this is tiki yellow, by the way, that is coming back. It definitely has significantly more coverage up here. So um, for larger cup sizes, just be aware, you are getting less coverage. For reference, we have almost like four inches here on the small Rosa scallop and about five and a half here on the regular Rosa. So you're getting about an inch and a half less coverage on the Rosa scallop. Next, we have the Synergy Seamless Sports Bra. This one, I believe, also launched in the Sugar Rush collection last year. And I don't think I loved it at the time. Um, I think it was like an ombre one. It just like wasn't really something I would wear. But they also said that they adjusted the fit on this one. So there's a little bit more coverage going into the back area. So this one will go with the snatched seamless leggings. It's made of that same marled seamless material. It even has a little ribbed area going kind of up the center of the bust for a little separation so you don't get that kind of like seamless uniboob effect. A little bit of a compressive ribbed detail along the bottom as well to kind of contour the side of the bust there. Then you have this kind of like woven detail on the back of the sports bra. So here's a kind of close up of the fabric. You can see the marled detail 
the ribbed detail, and then on the back you have the Buff Bunny logo embroidered into the fabric. All right, here's the bra, and it's better than I remembered. Seamless bras can be pretty hit or miss for me, so I'm liking the fit. It's snug enough to where I'm getting some compression, but not too snug where it's uncomfortable. Um, the straps actually extend a pretty good ways into the armpit area, so really good side boob coverage. Almost a more square neckline. I'd say this one is about a medium coverage overall, just because it is pretty scooped. Hard to say whether I would fall out of this one or not. I'm feeling like no because I have a good amount of compression there. I like the little ribbed detail. It goes kind of from under the bust to in between. So you just get a little bit of separation, a little less uniboob. It has nice thick straps so they aren't going to cut into your traps or anything. Then I forget where there was maybe a lack of coverage last time but it all feels pretty good and I like the little twist detail in the back. Only thing to keep note of is that this is kind of a like thicker little little knot in the back here with the straps intertwining like this so I wouldn't wear this on a day that you're doing bench press or anything where you're lying on your back because this could be kind of thick and uncomfortable and get in the way so I would be careful of that otherwise actually a nice seamless bra um and about a light to medium support the BBL seamless bra is definitely going to be a little more coverage and more support than this one and then the sports bra, um, I was worried with these kind of wide set straps that they'd fall down. I didn't have to worry about them at all. They did not fall down like I'm really trying to lose it here. It's staying in place. So those stayed up really well. But the little like knot situation in the back when I was doing hip thrusts was like very painful. So I unfortunately wore the sports bra on kind of like the worst day. It was uncomfortable for bench press, for leg press and hip thrusts. So if you're someone who lies down on a bench a lot for your workouts, I wouldn't be wearing this sports bra. Next, we have the reversible sports bra. This was also known as the high roller reversible sports bra back in the That 70s collection. So this one comes in a bunch of fun colors, and I think this is a great way to like kind of mix and match colors into the collection. But this one definitely comes in the most colors, and I just don't really feel like there's a ton of sports bra options in this collection. Would have loved to see the candy wrap, but... I understand that she can't be in every collection. So I got it in party purple and onyx black. So this is a reversible sports bra. Um, it does not have any holes for cut padding. So it is just kind of a double thickness. It actually has decent coverage for a spaghetti strap bra. Not the most lift or support, but it is a spaghetti strap. So what do you expect? It's not a long line. It actually just has a little elastic along the bottom. And you can also wear it with the black side showing and then the party purple just kind of is little piping along the edges. All right, here is the reversible sports bra. This is worn technically like inside out. These tags are easily cut off. They made them easy to cut off so that you can reverse this one with no care label or anything in the way. So I like wearing it with the piping out. Um, I could definitely wear it with all of the purple, but it's just another way to do it. So you have the little elastic along the bottom, true to size. I would definitely say at least a medium coverage, maybe even slightly more. The straps can be a teeny bit long. If they were adjustable, this would be much better. And I really wish there was a space for cut pads, even if it was like really small, just so I could put them in because I just feel like it helps the bra kind of keep its shape a little bit more. Port is definitely light support with these spaghetti straps. And then you have that little Y back and you can kind of slide the straps along that area. Large cup sizes, you can definitely wear this one if you are just doing a low impact day because it has the coverage for that. But I think it's definitely a little bit more for the smaller cup sizes in general. All right, then here are the three versions of the reversible sports bra. The top was that 70s collection, middle was courtside, and this is for Dreamhouse. And you can definitely see from that 70s collection, um, there is a lot more coverage. So let's do some quick measurements. So I'm getting about a 6.5 inches on the small from that 70s, around five and a quarter on court side, and more like five and a half on this most recent one. So this one definitely has more coverage than court side, but less than that 70s, which was the original one. I've just lined them all up here. You can tell this one ends about right there. So just a little bit more coverage on this current one than court side. The Revolution bra is back, not in that many colors. Again, would have liked to see more colors in this sports bra. 
even though the Revolution bra is just not really my favorite. It's a super cute, just classic Buff Bunny bra, but for some reason for my bust shape, I just feel like I tend to fall out of this one a little bit. It does have a little bit more coverage than it did a couple years ago, but still just isn't the best shape for me. So the Revolution bra has a squared neckline, which is super cute. It has removable cut padding. It's a long line sports bra, so it has a double thickness of the new brie fabric down here. It does have removable cut pads that enter from the top of the strap here. And then it has a super cute strappy detail on the back with a little ring detail where the straps kind of come into. And this one's only coming in the Miami Vice bossy print and white. This one's about a medium coverage and medium support, but it does have really good side boob coverage. It comes out to the side quite a bit. So if you are someone who tries to avoid side boob or wants to like hide that area a little bit more, I find the Revolution bra is better for that. I did not get the fashion sports bra. This one just didn't appeal to me as much. It did say it was better for smaller cup sizes and I just don't really see it being something that is going to give me a whole lot of coverage. It's made of that pink or black vinyl rebel legging material. So these will go with the rebel leggings. It's a long leg sports bra that has a little almost cutout detail, but then it has two straps that can of go up the cutout and up over the neck. And then at the back, it comes down and has four straps. So a little bit strappy, a little bit different, just definitely something that I would assume is better for smaller cup sizes. I know you guys hate when I don't get things, but I think that's the only thing I didn't get. Next, we have the Moonstone bra. So like the Moonstone leggings, we do have some rhinestone detail. It's made of that same polyester spandex, more sleek performance material. This one just has a small elastic along the whole bottom of the sports bra, so it's not a long line. It has a pretty strong V neckline with a little mesh insert in the middle. It does have removable cups and they enter from the side. And then you have some strappy detail in the back, again with the Buff Bunny silicone logo. There's quite a lot of rhinestones on this, which is pretty intricate and cute but I just don't know how I feel about this for like a gym piece. But for my girls who like a little bit of sparkle, you know, why not? Okay, I thought this one would be a little bit better for larger cup sizes, but definitely for my smaller cup size ladies. It's cute otherwise, and I really like the shape though. So we have that elastic along the bottom that is staying put really well. The rhinestones are all along here with a little mesh insert, but I'm definitely being squished out of it. So sizing up doesn't always make sense with these bras that do this because then the band is too big. So usually it's just best to avoid these if you are a larger cup size. Everything else is feeling pretty good. Um, I mean, the bottom band is a tiny bit snug. So if you're in between, I still would size up, but definitely a low coverage support. It's about low to medium. I can definitely tell this is a bra that I could easily fall out of. So um, it's not even that it's just like, you know, I'm squished out of it. It just wouldn't be a secure bra for the gym for me. The rhinestones are here. Again, it just feels, feels a little bit costumey. I've just never been a big fan of like rhinestones on. I think it's a little more subtle because it is black. And then the back has some cute strappy details. Comment down below what you guys think of the rhinestones. Um, if you're not too close, it just kind of looks like a little bit of iridescence on it. The BBL reversible sports bra is back as well. We reviewed this one in the last launch, but it's made of the same seamless material. So it's made of a stretchy marl with a ribbed bottom band. There is a little bit of a cutout at the bottom here, which for me, the boob sweat just kind of evacuates out of that little hole. So it's not my favorite. Actually really good coverage along the top here. So definitely a good medium to full coverage if you wear it this way. And then it is also reversible. So this way I don't feel as comfortable wearing. So I personally only wear it with the original front in the front. As we discovered in the last video, you can actually get the cut pads through the hole to actually go into the back reverse side as well. So you can actually get cut pads in here. So I would consider this truly reversible. This side doesn't have as much coverage, so I just don't really wear it that way as much. Then we have two tops. First is the rainforest crop. This is one of my favorite Buff Bunny tops. I have it in this green color, but I also bought it in the ivory and the black when it launched last. So it's made of the Nimbus fabric, which is actually a very soft, flowy fabric, so I really like this one. You can wear it reversible, but I don't tend to do it that way. So this is the front of it, just very basic, boxy. 
it is cropped and I do show a little bit of skin when I'm just relaxed in it. It's not a lot, but it could just be a tiny bit longer for me. And then it has a cutout twist to detail in the back. So just a little bit of something. You get a little peep of the sports bra. I would definitely say that this one is true to size, but if you want a little bit more oversized fit, you can size up. And it's just one of my favorite layering pieces when I want a little like shoulder coverage if I'm going out like walking or something. And then lastly, we have the spice crop jacket. I don't know where mine went. I definitely had a blue one at one point, but it's made of a nylon spandex mesh. So it is super lightweight and slightly sheer as well. It's coming in black and white. It's a cropped jacket. So in your true top size, it's a little bit more of a snug fit. So if you want a little bit more of a relaxed fit, definitely go with a size up. It's a full zip with a hood and thumb holes. And then two accessories as well. We have scrunchies, which is always a fun addition. The scrunchies are made of the Nubri fabric, so they will match all of the Nubri pieces in this collection. The scrunchies are coming in a bunch of colors to a mix and match with the pieces in the collection. And then also the Game Changer backpack pack is coming in chroma pink. I might be retiring my game changer backpack for a while because I am officially done with school. So I no longer have a use to be wearing it every single day, but I still like it for things like travel. Just whenever I need a backpack, I always have it. It has a meal prep compartment in the bottom, tons of little side pockets, a laptop pocket where I was able to fit a laptop and an iPad Pro in at all times. There's also a water bottle sleeve on the inside and I will link a Buffany Game Changer backpack review down below if you want more details. But that backpack lasted me through, I'd say, I'd say three years of dental school because my first year, I really stuck to the Game Changer tote bag a little bit more. Lasted me four years, still in great shape. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. As always, leave your comments down below and I'll get back to them as best I can. Try to get your questions in before the Friday of the launch just so I have time to make sure I can reply to everyone. And in terms of top picks of the launch, definitely I would go with the classics like the Legacy leggings and the Legacy six inch shorts, especially because we have a couple more colors of the six inch short this time. Then definitely the snatched legging. I love the cross waist. I love that it's the same seamless feel as the BBL seamless leggings, but you don't have the under glute contour. So that one is definitely a top pick. That one is also only coming in one color. So if you want that one, I'd be speedy. The Lifesaver shorts, those have been a favorite of mine all throughout last year wearing them like in the summer for walks, for anything where I just want a little bit more breathability of my shorts. I love that those are coming back. And then definitely the Rainforest crop if you have not tried it yet. I love the Rainforest crop. It's super soft and just one of my most worn but funny pieces. And remember, if you use code Catherine at checkout, you can get 10% off your order. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.